The prize-awarding Academy said their studies had given humanity new tools for exploring the movement of electrons inside atoms and molecules. This is about attosecond physics. The ability to generate attosecond pulses of light has opened the door on a tiny, extremely tiny timescale. And it's also opened the door to the world of electrons. Changes in electrons occur in a few tenths of an attosecond, a unit so short that there are as many attoseconds in one second as there have been seconds since the birth of the universe. So the prize this year is about very short pulses of radiation um, uh, at the scale, time scale of one attosecond. Second. So an attosecond is uh, very, very small. It's hard to imagine, but most people are familiar with the concept of a billion. So if you take a second and you divide it into a billion, and then you take one of those things and divide it a billion times again, you get 10 to the minus 18, or one attosecond. And these short pulses of light are interesting to study how electrons uh, move around in, uh, in atoms, for example, when they form a chemical bond or something like this. It was the achievement of many, many comrades in arms who went the way together with me, first in Vienna, then later here in Garching, even when things didn't look so good and there were longer lean periods. So, to all these colleagues, friends and cooperation partners, I would like to say a very, very big thank you. Actually, this prize belongs to all of us and not to me alone. Announced on consecutive weekdays in early October, the announcement of the Physics Prize will be followed by those for chemistry, literature, peace and economics. The latter a later addition to the original prize categories.